Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ivy's new plan to win back Liam to allies help make it happen? The bold and the beautiful reveal that Ivy Forrester will be making a reappearance this fall, as part of Electra Forrester's debut. Since Ivy is Electra's aunt, it's easy to see why they'll be part of the same tale. If Ivy stays in town long enough to find love again, you can bet she'll try to rekindle things with Liam Spencer. Ivy already jumped on Liam back in the spring, and made it apparent that she hadn't forgotten about their romantic connection. Liam is still unmarried at least for now so that could be good news for Ivy. Since Ivy kissed Liam the last time she was in LA, she may hope to take things even farther this time around. If Ivy had her way, she may land in Liam's bed in the not-too-distant future. Ivy may keep bringing Liam closer, and hope he'll surrender to becoming a reunited pair. Of course, Electra might find herself pulling for Ivy and Liam down the road. The same goes for Will Spencer so there's the opportunity for Ivy to obtain some aid from two allies. Perhaps Electra and Will might fall for each other while playing matchmaker for Liam and Ivy. Will and Electra might generate some heat of their own while they push his brother and her aunt together. Whatever the case, it would be bizarre if BNB ignored how wild Ivy still was for Liam the last time she saw him. If Ivy has continued to pine for Liam offscreen, she may be fed up and ready to make something happen. Ivy may have a new scheme to win Liam back, and could have a little support from Electra along with Will. Do you believe Liam and Ivy should have a romantic reconnection? Will Electra and Will help put Ivy and Liam back on the path to love? Our B&B predictions indicate to Liam taking some startling moves forward in his life shortly, so we'll bring you updates on whether Ivy will fit in his next chapter. Hope leaves town to regroup, returns with exciting new man. The bold and the beautiful speculate that Hope Logan may take a page out of Steffi Forrester's book and take off to regroup after losing hope for the future. Will Hope leave town a single lady and return with a new man? Is it time for Hope to finally discover true love and stop thinking about John Finn Finnegan? The bold and the beautiful Steffi Forrester has finally gotten her way. The bold and the beautiful indicate that Steffi has finally gotten her way when it comes to hope for the future. Steffi had wanted to stop this line for ages and now that Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson isn't around to save it, Ridge Forrester and Carter Walton agree. Hope assumed she would at least have till the end of the quarter to make this work. However, the numbers are not even close to where they need to be and this is the end of the line for Hope for the future. Where does that leave Hope in her career at Forrester? Hope literally has nothing to do now that her line has been shut down. Will Hope take some time to regroup? B&B Hope Logan blames Steffi Forrester. There is surely enough blame to go around for the end of Hope's line. However, Hope will blame Steffi more than anyone. Steffi wanted Hope and Brooke Logan out of the firm. Steffi is also the one who talked Thomas Forrester into leaving away from the LA headquarters of Forrester Creations. Hope knew all Thomas had done before she agreed to start seeing him. Hope had no one else to blame when Thomas desired something she couldn't offer. The bold and the beautiful Thomas Forrester could almost read Hope Logan's mind. Thomas and Hope worked really well together since Thomas knew what Hope desired and could quickly construct the design. Unfortunately, much as before, when Thomas was sacked, Hope's new designers just don't understand it. Zen Forrester, Delanda Metz, and RJ Forrester may be outstanding designers, they just don't read Hope as well. RJ's talent leads toward couture, and that is not Hope's forte. RJ would be fantastic designing with Ridge or Eric Forrester, John McCook, and so would Zend, but they are not Thomas. RJ and Zend do not get Hope's vision and consequently her numbers are quite low. Hope's line just could not survive under these circumstances. B&B Hope Logan finds what she needs. Now that hope for the future is gone, Hope may need to take some time to consider what she wants to do from here. Maybe Hope would like to start a new line with a fresh designer. Could Hope also find love while she is searching? After all, what could be better than to discover a man who she can work with who can see her vision and who loves her? How ironic would it be if Hope comes back with a new man in tow who is a talented designer? Could Hope for the future be revived? Perhaps a new name for a new line is more crucial. No matter what happens, Hope needs to find a man who isn't into Steffi and who wants his own women instead of running after someone who doesn't want either. Finn's discovery, Bill's reunion plea, Taylor's death claim. The bold and the beautiful are finally here. 
In the following episode, fans can expect Taylor Hayes to drop a bomb on Lee Finnegan. Lee later confides in John Finn Finnegan, so that would leave him with a moral issue. Meanwhile, Bill Spencer expresses his family wish to Katie Logan, Heather Tom, and Will Spencer. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the next episode of the CBS soap opera. Taylor Hayes' Death Claim BNB disclosed that viewers watched at the end of Friday's episode when Taylor told Lee she's dying. Taylor stated in Europe, the doctor indicated she was dying. Taylor's heart isn't doing so great. Fans might have anticipated something was coming as Taylor made some recent hints regarding a health concern. It seems that the Monaco appointment that Taylor couldn't afford to miss might have been more than simply an excuse. Maybe that appointment was with a specialist, and it really was a coincidence that she met Ridge and Brooke Logan in Monte Carlo that day. B&B Lee Finnegan opens up. According to a weekly teaser clip, Lee will share some news with Finn. Now, Taylor probably urged Lee to keep her diagnosis hidden for now. That's a lot to ask anyone though, especially when there are deep connections involved. Lee will share the news with Finn. Most likely, Finn will want to tell Steffi Forrester Finnegan or try to save Taylor. However, Lee might push Finn to be silent and remind him this is Taylor's story to tell. The bold and the beautiful Finn's discovery, Bill's reunion plea, Taylor's death claim. Looking forward, the bold and the beautiful indicate that Taylor has another interaction with Bridge. Taylor heads to Forrester Creations on Monday's episode. Taylor will remind Brooke and Ridge that seeing them happy together indicates they have a lot to look forward to. The bold and the beautiful. On fans can also anticipate Bill to reveal his emotions with Katie Logan and Will. Bill tells Katie and Will that he wants to be reunited as a family again. Katie recently claimed to be unlucky in love. So what's going on between her and Carter Walton? Plus, May there be issues when Penelope Poppy Nozawa Romy Park learns of Bill's intentions? Ridge's wedding twist marries Taylor after learning the end is near? The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers state that Taylor Hayes' Rebecca Budig just brought up something that plenty of fans have wondered about. Ridge Forrester Torsten K. and Brooke Logan Catherine Kelly Lang have been engaged for quite some time, so why haven't they tied the knot again? Taylor was curious about it. So she brought the question to Ridge at the Forrester estate lately. Ridge basically behaved like another wedding wasn't a big deal since they've done it before. At this point, Ridge seems to think his love for Brooke is enough, so he's not in any haste to rush to the altar with her. Of course, Brooke may not be on the same page as we haven't gotten a chance to hear her delayed wedding perspective yet. Whatever the case, it's fascinating that B&B's promoting the fact that Brooke and Ridge aren't truly married. It could open the door for Ridge to marry someone else, notably Taylor when you consider her sorrowful backstory. Taylor made a heart failure confession to Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda. So she's attempting to fully appreciate family with whatever time she has left. Since Taylor has realized that she's going to face a dreadful fate, she wants some type of family closure. Could this plot develop to a wedding twist for Ridge? What if Ridge marries Taylor after understanding the end is nigh for her? When Eric Forrester, John McCook, was facing his own bad illness, Ridge pretended to lose the fashion competition only to give his dad some happiness. Maybe Ridge will decide he wants to make Taylor happy too in whatever time she has left. That might lead to Ridge popping the question to Taylor down the road, especially once Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, gets updates on her mom's tragic news. Steffi might persuade Ridge to marry Taylor one final time so she can die content. In other words, Brooke might get put aside as Ridge weds Taylor for a final chapter. Things may get complicated if Taylor then gets a new experimental treatment that helps her live longer than everyone thought. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest Brooke and Taylor's new attempt at friendship will be put to the test. So stick with us for predictions on potential Ridge love triangle issues. Phoebe Forrester comes for Taylor, is she not long for this world? The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers indicate that Taylor Hayes' Rebecca Budig is back in LA stirring the heat by criticizing the Logan family women and sidling up to Rich Forrester, Torsten K. Some people think she's been behaving a bit sad and focused too much on her kids, the past, etc. Now we may have finally uncovered why Taylor came back home, and it is terrible. The bold and the beautiful spoilers is Taylor Hayes dying? Taylor is eager to make up for lost time with her family, and on the September 19th episode, Taylor delivered a curious statement. She and Ridge were discussing when she brought up their deceased daughter, 
Phoebe, Mackenzie Mozzie. Taylor cried and stated she thinks of being back together with Phoebe one day. That statement prompted some fans to speculating about Taylor's mindset. Is she on death's doorstep? BNB spoilers, is Taylor Hayes dying? Then on the September 20th episode Taylor dropped a massive bomb on her fellow doctor, Lee Finnegan Naomi Matsuda. She has a heart issue. Taylor seemed quite serious and dismal, and her demeanor seems to suggest that she is in serious jeopardy. Why else would she be consulting with Lee? Taylor may have an advanced problem that doesn't think she will live, and that's why she came back to town. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Taylor Hayes' secret. At the end of life, many people report seeing their loved ones who have already departed. The show may be building up such a scenario by having Taylor talk about Phoebe, Steffi Forrester's, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, identical twin. It could be that Phoebe appears to her mom and informs her it's not her time yet. We can see her convincing Taylor to go back and fight for life. Not too long ago, Eric Forrester John McCook was given a death sentence but he beat the odds and is now alive and well, living his best life with his honey bear. BNB spoilers. Will Taylor Hayes receive a miracle? We still don't have the complete story about Taylor's situation so stick with us, and we will let you in on all of the newest tea as soon as we hear it. In the meantime, tell us why you think that Taylor came back to all. Brooke doesn't see Taylor coming Ridge's eyes are open. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers indicate that Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, understands that Ridge Forrester, Torsten K, loves her. This pairing ranks as the most resilient in this soap's history. However, Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, planned return to Los Angeles, California, is significant. To claim that she is Ridge's main love of his life would be inaccurate, but it is debatable to suggest that Brooke and Taylor are his two equal loves. Viewers know that Ridge has married Brooke eight times, but also notice that Bridge has not remarried. Taylor is also well informed and may believe that an opening exists. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, haven't we been down this daytime road? Yes, Ridge has vacillated between Brooke and Taylor, including recently. The recast from Hunter Tylo to Krista Allen led to a reunion with Ridge, although he did not marry Taylor. The recast from Allen to Budig is interesting because of that daytime veteran's abilities. It would seem that decision makers made this higher because a big arc was envisaged. This could suggest that Ridge does not remarry Brooke. It has been many years since Ridge married Taylor. Their second marriage terminated in 2006. So this would be retreading familiar ground but it would not be a road many people have seen in nearly two decades, and it would be fresh for newer viewers. BNB spoilers Brooke Logan is supremely confident. There has been much speculation about Brooke and Ridge's destined connection. Most recently, Katie Logan, Heather Tom, and Donna Logan, Jennifer Garice, discussed the love Brooke and Ridge shared while they were at Forrester Creations. Plenty of personal business is performed at work. The Logans and Foresters are known for incorporating some work into the day, after addressing every imaginable emotional perspective of any topic. Fans may infer that Katie and Donna's assurance regarding Brooke's connection with Ridge was a prelude. Drama undoubtedly lies ahead. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Ridge Forrester and Taylor Hayes anew. The drama between Ridge and Taylor grew to a peak, but they did not remarry while Alan was part of the cast. Budig's entrance and the current storyline feel different. Sure, Ridge loves Brooke completely, but he is in the process of emphasizing how vital Taylor is to his life and that of his children. This potentially renewed triangle will play out throughout the fall. It could take viewers until Eric Forrester's, John McCook, customary family Thanksgiving party to discover if Ridge and Taylor's reconciliation or his remarrying Brooke happens. But a Christmas story with a final verdict in favor of either lady would be great. It appears more likely than not that whatever occurs, Ridge will be married to one of his two great loves because of the newfound relationship this three is creating. What is hope for the future on the bold and the beautiful? On the bold and the beautiful, Hope Logan's Annika Noel, fashion brand at Forrester Creations is called Hope for the Future. Last week on the bold and the beautiful was a trying moment for Hope as she and others concerned that Forrester's co-CEO Steffi, Jacqueline McInnes would, might cancel HFTF. It looked likely that this was the end of the line, as Steffi was furious that Hope had kissed Steffi's husband, Finn Tanner Novlin, but the line had also been struggling financially for quite some time. However, Steffi left her personal sentiments for her stepsister out of the professional choice. 
Steffi's concern about the line was its success. Forrester CEO Carter Lawrence St. Victor showed the data to Coos Ridge, Torsten K., and Steffi. They knew that HFTF had been failing for the last few quarters, but Steffi astonished everyone when she chose to give it another chance. Hope insisted she could turn the numbers around, but this has been an ongoing struggle for her and HFTF. Let's look back at why some individuals have lost hope in the line's future over the years. Hope for the future fashion event on the bold and the beautiful image source, CBS. Hope for the future was audacious at the outset. Hope was a wide-eyed virgin of everything from sex to business when she was granted a fashion line by her aunt, and equally inexperienced CEO Katie when Forrester Creations was a division of Spencer Publications. Despite Hope's lack of experience in business or modeling and her incapacity to design, the first Hope for the Future fashion show was a big success and showed loads of promise. However, everyone with fashion and business experience, expertise, and superiority at Forrester Creations wanted Hope to capitalize on the line's great launch and continue it by advertising it in Paris. They put up a press tour and notified Hope about the plan, but she didn't appear to appreciate its importance over her personal life. But I just got engaged, she complained. Annika Noel plays Hope Logan on the bold and the beautiful image source, CBS. Initially, Hope's vision for her line was filled of well hope. In addition to committing to contribute earnings proceeds, Hope's mission statement and marketing approach advocated integrity and sexual responsibility. Years after its first introduction, HFTF revived with Maya Avant as the face of the label. This time, the objective was to promote and acknowledge strong, independent women. However, Hope has continuously been embroiled in love triangles on the bold and the beautiful, even as the line was launched. From going back and forth between marriages and romances with Spencer brothers Wyatt, Darren Brooks, and Liam Scott Clifton, Hope has also nearly continually been in love triangles with her stepsister Steffi. Recently, Hope has even started lusting after Steffi's husband, Finn Tanner Novlin. Not exactly ideal behavior for the face of the Hope for the Future line. Hope for the Future fashion event on the bold and the beautiful image source, CBS. While Hope has been done wrong over the years, there have been plenty of moments that her own behavior didn't correspond with her brand. Near the beginning of the line, the public knew that Hope was romantically linked with Liam Spencer. When her stepsister stole her lover and married him, Rich put Marcus Forrester in charge of keeping it out of the news. At the first Hope for the Future fashion presentation, rival Steffi had the lighting fixed so that Hope went down the catwalk with Ho for the Future behind her. Thomas and Douglas Forrester with Hope Logan on the bold and the beautiful image source, CBS. Hope has always just been the name and influencer of the line. She has had other family designers keep the line viable, but despite their talents, for some reason, HFTF is consistently at risk of being terminated. Experienced lead designers of Hope for the Future have included Thorne Forrester, Windsor Harmon, Caroline Spencer, Lindsay Godfrey, Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, and even patriarch Eric Forrester, John McCook himself. Currently on the bold and the beautiful Zen Forrester Dominguez, Delon de Metz, and RJ. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, have been working on HFTF with Hope. Hope Logan at a Hope for the Future fashion event on the bold and the beautiful image source, CBS. So what is the problem? The marketing team occasionally does overtime to protect the public from uncovering scandals in Hope's life. The lead designers have all been creative and successful in other areas of their professions. Part of the proceeds from HFTF are expected to go to charities and charitable groups to spread goodness and give back to the communities from which it profits. But with all the talent, backing, marketing, and good karma the brand has had, not to mention being under the canopy of one of the world's most successful fashion houses, its longevity always seems hopeless. Steffi elected to save the line but handed Hope an ultimatum. Steffi warned her stepsister that if she crossed the line with Finn again, HFTF would get terminated. Maybe. Finn and the guest stars will hilarity ensue? The bold and the beautiful BMB teasers for Friday, September 20, 2024, reveal a weird episode that doesn't seem to move the plot at all. The bold and the beautiful spoilers travel plans. Remember Captain Dew Stevens, the Forrester jet pilot who encountered Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes would. When she couldn't find her visa and had to skip the flight to Monte Carlo? Well, he's back and he chooses to visit John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, 
at the hospital. He was played by legendary comedian Tom Arnold. Thus B&B will once again have a guest star making a cameo appearance. Why would the Forrester pilot visit Finn? Does he know a Forrester secret he believes Finn should know too? Will we experience humorous situations as we saw when Steffi was seeking for her passport? Also read the bold and the beautiful spoilers. What is the truth behind Taylor's return? At least Steffi's amnesia enabled Rich Forrester, Torsten K., and Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, some alone time. Maybe Finn brings him to the hospital because he is preparing a romantic holiday for Steffi Sands the kids. After all that she went experience with his wild cousin Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, Steffi could need a break. Are we about to have another brief location shoot? BMB spoilers a chance run in. Another recent guest performer was Jim Belushi's daughter Jameson Belushi. She makes her way back onto the scene as lab technician April. The last time we saw April, she brought word about Hollis, Hollis W. Chambers, death. The lab result confirmed that Hollis died from the same poison that killed Tom Star, Clint Howard. We can presume April is a regular at the hospital who Finn knows well, but we nearly never see her.